Intel are well known for making some pretty high-end processors and some pretty high-end SSDs as well. But with their 600p SSDs, which I have here, in fact two of them, two of the 512 gig models, this uh, is kind of more of a, a look to the value market when it comes to NVMe M.2 SSDs. Taking a look at the drives themselves, you can see that these are a standard M.2 size of 2280. These are also single-sided SSDs as well, which means if you have one of those, for example, MSI motherboards with the heat shield on there, you might actually see a benefit with that uh, as all of the chips are just on one side. Now, unlike the Samsung 960 Evo and 960 Pro drives that I took a look at relatively recently. These ones aren't exactly as stylish. They're not uh, featuring black PCBs. In fact, green PCBs in this one, as you can see. Uh, and either way, they are fairly uh, budget-oriented SSDs, so I suppose you probably wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, the controller chip that is on here is a Silicon Motion SM2260. This is a custom controller for this platform, uh, and in theory is actually relatively high-end for the price that you're paying. I think right now, this drive, the 512 gig version, is about £50 cheaper, at least in the UK anyway, uh, over just the Samsung 960 Evo, which is the more budget-oriented drive. So, certainly pretty good value for money for the stores that you're getting. As for the rest of the specs for the 512 gig models that I have here. You're looking at 17.5 gig for the SLC buffer size and a total of 288 terabytes written in terms of its sort of expected lifespan for how much you can write to the drive. Also uses 3D TLC NAND similar to the Samsung 960 Evo 960 Pro, although Samsung uses their own sort of proprietary blend of herbs and spices to make that one a little bit faster, a little bit uh, more reliable in theory, at least for a higher terabytes written. Uh, so overall, a rather interesting combination. The performance on this drive is actually pretty interesting. I will go into that in a second, but the main applications I was using to test it was ATTO, Crystal Disk Mark, ASSSD, and a real world uh, test of uh, having G GTA 5, all of the files on the SSD and then duplicating all of those files, which in theory hits the reads and the writes. Also, uh, because GTA 5 has very large game files as well as lots of small ones, it is a bit of a, a more interesting test to see how it performs. The 960 Evo and 960 Pro drives that I took a look at fairly recently, uh, those drives handled this test relatively well. I think an average of about 600 megabytes per second for the uh, Evo and I think about 800 megabytes per second for the Pro. Now, the Intel 600p SSD certainly isn't something, you know, going to be ridiculously slower than it. It's still an NVMe SSD from the kings of NVMe, Intel of course, uh, but this one really didn't handle it very well. Let's take a look. So the results you're seeing here are actually using an AMD Ryzen 1700 and an ASUS B350 Prime board. Now this was uh, actually something that I thought might have been an issue, and especially when you look at the ATTO uh, disk benchmark there, where you're seeing anything above about 8 megabytes in terms of size uh, is just ridiculously slow. I mean, you'd expect that to be about as fast as any of the other fellows, if not even faster. And when you're looking at, for example, the write speeds here, you're looking at basically SATA write speeds, whereas you're seeing proper NVMe read speeds. So again, I thought this could have been something to do with the AMD platform. So I also tested it on the Intel platform that I had for the cooler comparison provided by AWD IT. Uh, and basically, uh, as you can see in the Intel results, it's almost identical. You're looking at just shy of two gigabytes per second in reads on Crystal Disk Mark or 1.6 gigabytes per second reads on AS SSD. And you're looking at about 550 to 600 megabytes per second writes on both. So the real world GTA test is actually kind of an interesting one and I believe supports the ATTO results quite nicely. Now when you compare these results to the Samsung 960 EVO 960 Pro drives, the EVO was run with the exact same tests, exact same files, you were seeing about 600 megabytes per second average until I believe the SLC buffer filled up and then the uh, temperatures got pretty high and then it kind of got very slow. But with the Pro drive it's stayed about 800 megabytes per second average across the entire thing. Now with the 600p, this is also an NVMe SSD, so you'd expect it to be at least fairly close, but unfortunately that just isn't the case. Now it stayed about 5 to 400 megabytes per second average at the start, although as you can see here, the speed drops off a cliff to be nearly 20 megabytes per second for large periods of time and will effectively look like a wave going up to 200-300 megabytes per second, 
and then dropping back down to literal SD card speeds at 20 megabytes per second before going back up again. Now I'm not entirely sure why this is, I'm not uh, completely versed in SSD technology, so if you do have any suggestions on what this is, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, but uh, it is something to note that the overall performance, especially on larger files and for sustained periods of time, can be a bit of an issue. The drive did get ridiculously hot, in fact far too hot to touch, so that could also be a limiting factor as well. So barring the slight strangeness in the more synthetic and in theory real world testing as well, this is actually still a pretty fantastic budget NVMe SSD. Especially in short bursts or if you're just doing you know, a single write like installing your operating system and every uh, a program every now and again and that's about it, then this drive is really very exceptional. I think this is certainly more in the budget category of things so if you're after a budget M.2 SSD, especially in this sort of high uh, sort of capacity sizes at this sort of price point, uh, it's actually pretty impressive and overall I do still recommend it even though it's overall sort of high speed performance isn't necessarily the best you can get. When it comes to scoring, it's certainly a pretty decent value for money. I think I'm going to go for a 4 here. I think performance is also going to be a 4. When it comes to functionality, I'm also going to go with a 4 as well. Styling, also a 4, and I think Tectium DB score of a 4 as well. I think it's still, it's, it's a worth money drive, it is worth your money if you are planning on getting an SSD, even if you're just getting a you know, bog standard operating system only SSD. These provide pretty good value for money, they're also great space saver type drives, so you don't need to worry about having uh, another two and a half inch drive in your system. Uh, so I do actually recommend picking one of these up if it's just a standard SSD you're looking for. So if you want to know any more about the drives, especially pricing, when and where you watch this, check out the links in the description down below. I'll leave a couple there for you. Otherwise, do feel free to use the Amazon or Overclockers UK affiliate links. It genuinely helps me out, it supports the channel and keeps me making these videos. So if you can do that, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, feel free to check me out on Facebook and Twitter as well, at TechTeamGB on both. Uh, I post uh, regular updates, especially on Twitter. So if you're on there, feel free to take a look. Otherwise, check out some of the other videos that I'll leave over here for you and the subscribe button over this side. Let me know if you prefer the M.2 versions of these sort of drives, you know, the sort of more budget oriented drives, or if you're more interested in the two and a half inch ones. I'm going to be taking a look at a Toshiba SSD very shortly. In fact, I might have already done that uh, just in terms of scheduling. So uh, do check that video out as well. And otherwise, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.